Hotel and tour operators are optimistic that the festive season will boost their business after recording bookings of between 70 to 80 percent. So according to Tourism Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala, the sector is banking on domestic tourists over festive period with many Kenyans opting for traditional destinations like Mombasa and Nakuru. Faisal Ahmed has more. The tourism sector has been one of the most affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, losing an estimated 72 billion shillings over the period, according to the Ministry of Tourism. However, with the festive season beaconing, the sector has registered significant bookings, but not from the traditional source market of international visitors. Christmas week, we are looking at up to 60-70% bookings, uh, domestic uh, market. Under usual circumstances, we are usually at 100% uh, or at least an average of 90% from November all the way to March. For tour operators, they've had to improvise by providing day tours, safari drives and deep sea diving packages to attract local tourists. This, they say, will subsidize the gap left by international tourists. I've also learned that we can rely on uh, our very own, the, the beauty of Kenya. Other than uh, the... Uh, other than the normal holiday packages that we do for Mombasa, Masai Mara, and Boseli. Kenyans know now know that uh, there is uh, a very own desert safari in Chalbi. Uh, people now know that um, we have very beautiful beaches in uh, Turkana. So um, people have accepted and uh, adapted to the new norm. Tourism Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala says that the industry has been salvaged by domestic tourism as international numbers are still low. Balala is, however, optimistic that the industry will rebound next year with talks of a vaccine offering the industry a glimmer of hope. We are working very hard to promote as much as we can, but we are cognizant that current situation is we focus on the domestic tourism. So far, the domestic tourism has reacted positively and I want to thank Kenyans for that. This comes as hotels in Nairobi are banking on corporate events and weddings to remain afloat. End of year corporate activities and social activities have brought a ray of hope for the hospitality industry in the city as the year ends amid glooming fears of a second wave of COVID-19. Occupancy rates in Nairobi are currently at 20% compared to Mombasa, which is operating at 70%. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.